and slowly let go of your left foot. Now we're going to repeat the same sequence this time on the opposite side. So you're going to bring your left leg slowly to the front. Huh, really nice release here. All right. This time around, we're going to flip your right leg to the back. Pigeon pose once again. So once again, we try to level the hips this time, bringing that right hip down. So your left knee is bound in the front. Keep that left foot pointing up instead of pointing down. But if that is uncomfortable for you, by all means, keep that left foot pointing down. All right, so work on going first down onto your forearms. And if this is manageable, just go all the way down. Extend your arms out. And come as flat as you can onto the mat. Actively try to push your right hip down. And we're going to stay for about two minutes in pigeon pose. I'm still, uh, I'm keeping my breathing really relaxed because when the breathing is relaxed, you don't hyperventilate and you're calm and the body is relaxed and the mind is really calm and collected. All right, so just keep your breathing slow and relaxed. Allow for the blood to circulate throughout your body, bringing fresh um, air to the organs. And you're also giving your abdominal organs a nice massage here. If you need to use a block to support your buttocks to minimize the distance between your buttocks and the mat, go for it. Really feel it targeting my piriformis and my psoas here. And now slowly inhale back into your palms. You make a few minor adjustments. Keep your palms uh, on the mat. And this time around, as you are going to lift your palms up, make sure that try to make sure that your right hip doesn't lift off as well. You want to level at both hips. You want to open your hips. All right, we're going to have a nice stretch. Arch your back as well as you're going to raise your arms over your head. All right, so keep that right hip down. Arch your back. Take a deep breath. Inhale. Interlock all fingers like a peaceful yoga gun sign here. Look up. Try not to hold your breath. Keep your breathing relaxed. Actively push your right hip down. Bit of balancing here to try to keep that right hip down instead of it pulled to the back. And slowly drop down both palms onto the mat. Now place both palms onto the mat. This time around, we're going to pull at the right hip flexor. You can leave your left palm to the outer side of your left, uh, to the left, so that it can act as a support. Your right hand, you're going to grip the inner side of your right foot. All right, so still trying to keep that right hip down. We're going to bring that right foot as close as you can to the right side of your torso. But if your right foot doesn't touch the torso, it is fine as well. So just pull till your level of comfort. Few more breath here, keep your breathing slow, relax. And slowly let go of your right foot. We're gonna place both palms onto the mat. 
lift your buttocks up. Okay, we're gonna go to hamstring stretch here. Uh, plunge your left foot onto the mat. Either use a block, a few minor adjustments here. You need to use a block. Lean your buttocks back. Keep your left leg straight. Curl your toes in towards you. And slowly bring your head close to your left knee. If you need to bend at the left knee, go for it. But if you're comfortable, totally fine. Keep that left leg straight. Bring your head close to your left knee. Take, make use of the block if you need to. So we're going to stay for a few breaths here. Try to curl, flex your left foot towards you. And slowly rising up. We're going to go to Hanumasana, which is your splits. So make use of a block. Alright. So um, plant your left foot onto the mat. And sort of pulse into it. Sink into your hips. If you don't need to use the blocks, place both palms onto the mat. And sink into your hips. All right, once you feel more limber, walk your left foot even more. Keep pulsing and sinking into your hips. And when you're all ready to go full frontal split, just lower down all the way onto the mat. Try to actively keep that right hip down instead of facing uh, forward. Try to face, instead of facing uh, the other way, try to face forward to where your left foot is at. So again, we're targeting the hamstring and the hip flexor. And from here, you're going to use your right hand to grip your right foot, inner side of your right foot. And try to bring your right foot close to the right side of your torso. A bit of balancing here if you're not placing your left palm onto the mat. If your right foot doesn't touch your torso, it is completely fine as well. Really feeling that pull in the piriformis here. And slowly let go of your right foot. I'm gonna come out of the posture, slowly bring your right leg to the front. Coming back to Dandasana. That was a really nice um, stretch and release for me. I hope it was for you too. <laughs> <laughs>